Well, it's been an uncomfortable one for Ernie. He's in our procedure room with Dr. Orden and dermatologist and cosmetic surgeon, Dr. Sandra Lee. He has a painful cyst that he wants removed yes. from his face. So, Ernie, you getting excited? Oh, yeah, I'm ready to get this thing out of there. Well, and, and Dr. Lee has already started, so bring us up to speed. You made your incision. You yes. actually have done a little dissecting. Right. Take it away, doctor. Well, um, he has an epidermoid cyst, which is really common. He had a pretty big lump here under his skin, so what we do is we just make a little superficial excision and try to um, kind of tease around it. And you can see they can be pretty big underneath. Whoa. We're almost done here. We're just gonna snip off that last little bit. And we've told him that one of the go. most One of the most common uh, benign tumors or growths you can have anywhere on the body, yes. right? Very and, common. And Dr. Lee did a beautiful job. You see how that's encapsulated. Yeah. That's the key is getting all of it out so it doesn't recur. Did you see that? Yes, I did. It yeah, was... you had a little cyst. It's a boy. Yeah, a little yeah. cyst. A little cyst, yeah, little it's girl. A girl. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, there are, it's really just flaking keratin, skin, and the skin underneath the skin, it gets collected. And what happens is sometimes people try to squeeze it out. Not really a good idea no. because they can get inflamed, they can get infected, and that's when there are a lot of problems. They're really painful. They can become multi-loculated so that they're even more difficult to remove. But he was very good. He kept his hands off of it. Neat so it's really cute. And we're going to cut through and we can show you what's inside. So it's a cheesy kind of texture. Um, it does smell. You know, it actually is terrible when you have, some, when you have long hair like I do because it can get in your hair. And then you have a very bad uh. day. So that's really flaked keratin. It's macerated <laughs> keratin or skin that's underneath, skin. underneath your skin. It's flaking off into the sac. So because you remove this whole sack, it's going to be gone. It won't be there anymore. It's nice and clean. Excellent. It's, it's a cure. Yeah. And, and, and it's so yours. Happy. You can take it home with you. Oh, Just great. Uh, one more question, Dr. Oh, yes. Lee. Is it going to come back? Uh, probably not likely in this case, but you have to remove the whole sack. That's the difficulty. If you ever, if you ever leave just a small little area, they can regenerate. So that's the problem. But they're very common. They're benign. And um, we see a lot of them. And this was a very good one. You had a really nice one. <laughs> now, how is Ernie feeling? Ernie, are yeah, you okay? You oh, I feel great. Uh, I'm actually very happy. This, this is great. Good, I <laughs> good point, Lisa. <laughs> like, <laughs> Before she started, Dr. Lee used, it local, used local anesthetic to anesthetize it. Ernie didn't feel a thing. Mm -hmm. Not a thing. I assume a couple stitches, right? We're going to put a couple little stitches there. They'll come out one week, and he'll be good as new. Excellent. There you go. Oh. Thank you very much. Thanks so much, Dr. Lee. Good luck to you, Ernie. Thank you.